Not so great news for BRICS countries, but experts say it's not as bad as it looks. In fact, some investors are turning financial misfortunes into business opportunities. CCTV's Paolo Cabral reports. Just a few years ago, the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, were booming, raising the promise of a world economy led by emerging nations. Maybe in the future, but right now things are not looking as good. China's growth remains significant if you compare it to the rest of the world, but the country's economy is slowing down. Russia, severely hit by low oil prices and the Western embargo, was downgraded by credit rating agencies earlier this year. And this month, Brazil also lost the investment grade seal from Standard & Poor's amid political and economic crisis. I don't think that uh, it's right to say that the BRICS, the, all of the BRICS are in crisis. India is, is, is quite successful, is growing uh, quite a lot. So I think the importance of the group will um, continue. There is certainly now, particularly in uh, Brazil, in Russia, in South Africa, a bit of a slump. Uh, but I think the long-term projections uh, are likely to, to be fulfilled because it's just a matter of, of long-term development. In the Brazil-China Chamber of Commerce, the plan is to try and turn the current economic challenges into good business opportunities for Chinese investors. Brazilian assets are doubly cheap because, one, of the crisis, and two, the devaluation caused by the crisis, so that today everything in Brazil is very, very cheap. Assets that you could not have bought a few years, a year ago, today are on fire sale. There is still hope the BRICS countries will have a bright future. But analysts warn these economies need to prepare themselves for long-term sustainable growth if their goals are to be achieved. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.